Well, hello, amazing artists. Today we are going to assemble our superhero landscapes background in middle ground. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your buildings and you're going to figure out the arrangement you want for them on your page. Now you want the tallest buildings in the back. So you're, so I arranged mine from tallest to shortest, well, mostly from tallest to shortest. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm actually gonna move mine so that you can see the bottom. So one way is if you have some different heights of buildings, you can line them all up on the bottom. And you can see here that lining them all up on the bottom for me <coughs> gives me some different heights of buildings on my background. You don't want them to all be the same exact height. You want some um, variety in there. And then you're gonna take your smaller ones and you're gonna put them in front. And I would put them in front kind of off center to the original buildings, cause then you can see the original buildings in the background. And you can see here that if I do that, I actually didn't use all my buildings, which is fine. Um, I can glue them down like this. But if all my buildings are about the same height and they're going to butt up against each other like this, I could fix that by, let me move these out of the way. I could fix that by varying the height by not putting them all the way on the bottom. All right, so say I wanted this one to be taller than this one, I could do that by not putting some of them all the way on the bottom. And if I choose to do that, when I put my original ones in the, in the front, I just need to make sure that I'm covering up the gaps that are left behind. And again, you wanna make sure that your buildings are going from tallest to shortest. All right, so here I did that, all right? And so the front ones are lined up with the bottom, but the top ones aren't, but you can't tell because of the way that I glued it down. Another way, I'm gonna scoot this up just a little bit more, is because you saw that didn't, that didn't really leave much space up at the top for our fun details that we're gonna add in today. So another way that you could vary the heights of the buildings and leave a good section at the top is by actually, when you line them up, you see here, I'm gonna line these up with the bottom, and then I can actually make them go off of the page down below and then cut them off at the end. And you can do a combination, like you can see here, I'm actually gonna put, my UT tower in the middle because I like my middle like that. I'm gonna put this guy right here. And you can see that when I do that, it creates some cool variations in the, oh, in the height of my skyline. It leaves some good space at the top. And then it comes off down here at the bottom and that's okay because I can just cut them off of the bottom when I'm finished. All right, so if I leave it like this, I think that looks pretty cool. So if I glue it down like this, then when I'm done, I can just cut all of these extra bits down off the bottom. And even, you can see here, this guy goes off the side. I can cut a little bit off the side too if I wanted to. All right, so once you've figured out your arrangement, then you can glue them down. I am going to save my time okay. on that. I'm gonna save my time on that and glue them down off camera so that we can move on. All right, then you're gonna to get to pick one or two of these uh, onomatopoeia words. So onomatopoeia is when you have a word that describes a sound. So like crash, bang, pop, bam, those are onomatopoeias. So um, I've made a couple of these onomatopoeia words. There's even a blank one. So if you can think of your own word that you wanna add in and do block letters, you totally can. Um, or you can just pick one of the ones that I already made and you're gonna color it in. So usually superheroes have like a, like a primary color scheme happening. Um, I don't know why that is. That's just something that has uh, been the case for lots and lots of superheroes. So, um, so, you, so I would suggest using a primary color. So I'm going to color this in, in the background, I'm going to color it in yellow and I'm using marker, but you can use crayon or colored pencil. That's up to you. I just like how bold the marker looks. 
and you want to color it in all the way so that it looks really really nice no white spaces and you're going to ignore all of my white spaces because i'm going fast so that i can finish this before my first class comes in all right and i'm going to do the words red so here i have the word crash which is an onomatopoeia word And then you're gonna cut them out and you're gonna glue them into your sky because we're gonna have our superhero flying in the foreground. So we're gonna have these onomatopoeia words in the background. So I'm gonna cut that one out in a minute. But you can see, you can only really fit one or two in. And actually I cut, colored in another one, but I'm not actually sure. It might fit back here once I color it in, but I don't know. And so you're gonna glue that one down and then you're gonna go in and you're gonna give it a comic book dot background. And I'm gonna use purple marker for mine. And I'm just gonna add in some comic book dots. These actually do have a name. They're called Ben Day dots because the artist, the comic artist Ben Day, B-E-N space D-A-Y, Ben Day invented them. And, um, and it was just a way that comic book artists um, figured out that they could color in their comics without using a bunch of ink. It, they would just print them with dots. So I'm gonna add in dots. Now you can see I'm making my dots by just tapping my marker on my background. If you wanted your dots to be bigger, you could just draw dots so that they would be bigger. That would possibly take less time than filling in your whole page with dots the way I am. It just kind of depends on you and what you look you want. All right, but once you've got your whole background filled in, then you're done. See, you can see how it looks. Kind of, I'm gonna wait and finish mine off camera. So once you have your buildings glued down and your Ben Day dots in the background and your onomatopoeia word in the um, glued on top of it, and you cut off any straggly buildings that are falling off your edges, then you're finished with this part of the project. Next time we will start designing, like really designing our um, superheroes that are gonna go in the foreground and be flying.